Welcome to Serif Draw Plus. In this short tutorial, I'll introduce you to blend modes and show you how you can use them in your Draw Plus creations. Located on the Color tab, blend modes are used for creative effects on overlapping objects, shapes, lines, brushstrokes, photographs and so on, where the colors of the objects blend on top of one another. You can adjust the blend mode of an existing object on your page, or you can set the blend mode before creating a new object. To demonstrate this, I'll use the paintbrush tool with the colour blend mode to add subtle colour to this scanned pencil sketch. Although it's not essential, I'm going to create my brush strokes on a new layer. I've already added this layer and named it appropriately. Now, I'll select the paintbrush and choose my brush type. For this image, I'll choose a soft shading brush. Next, I'll choose my colour and for now, I'll leave the blend mode set to the default normal. And now I can just start to paint over the rabbit's fur. You can see that the strokes are very intense and completely obscure the pencil sketch below them. If I now click on my brush stroke to select it and then change the blend mode to color, Draw Plus blends the pixels of the brush stroke with those of a black and white sketch beneath it to give a much more subtle effect. I can continue painting over the rest of the sketch using different colours where necessary to complete my image. Let's look at another blend mode now. As its name implies, the screen blend mode screens or hides portions of the topmost object according to its lightness values so that pure white areas will be rendered as fully opaque and pure black areas fully transparent. Let's take a look. Using this photograph as the background of my composition, I'm going to superimpose a moon onto it. First, I'll import my moon image. If I change the blend mode to screen, the black background becomes transparent. If I just move the image on top of these rocks, you can see that areas of the moon itself have also become semi-transparent, according to their lightness values. Let's quickly switch back to normal blend mode for a second. And you can see that it's these darker areas here that have taken on the most transparency, while the lighter areas are the most opaque. I can adjust the effect of the blend mode by dragging the color tab's opacity slider. This works for any blend mode you apply, by the way. To conclude this tutorial, let's take a look at a couple of samples that make good use of some other Draw Plus blend modes. If I hide these layers, you'll see that the colored layer at the bottom contains simple filled shapes with transparency gradients applied. The next layer up in the stack the flowers layer comprises a collection of painted flower shapes. If I select these, you can see that their blend mode is set to erase. This has the effect of erasing these shapes from the flowers layer, exposing the coloured layer beneath. If I change the blend mode to normal for a moment, you'll get a better idea of how this works. It doesn't matter what colour fill is applied to the top object. I'll just demonstrate this by adding a design from the gallery. Now I'll switch to the Erase Blend Mode to expose the coloured background once again. This pencil sketch was created using graphic soft shading brushes. The colour Blend Mode was then used to create a coloured pencil effect. And the multiply blend mode was used to intensify certain areas of the sketch. We've looked at just a few of the blend modes available in Draw Plus. I hope it has helped you to understand a little bit more about them and inspired you to experiment and create some interesting effects of your own. <laughs>